I didn't make visual art for many, many years and gouache was the first painting medium I picked up when I decided to continue my artist journey. I was attracted to gouache because I actually believe they were encaustics. I thought that they had wax in them and I was kind of fascinated by the concept of what I was reading. I took art classes in high school and college and then just focused on kids and didn't do much except for a small little oil painting stint. So when I did get the gouache, even though it was uh, not wax based, I ended up really loving it because it was similar to work with to how you work with oil paint, which I had done a little bit of. However, then I discovered watercolor and that's such a difficult medium to me. I was like, I really need to focus on that. And so that's what I've been doing the last couple of years. And now I am feeling like I have enough of an understanding of watercolor that I can move over to other things in this case, gouache. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about some experiments I've been doing about the best way to handle gouache because it's a little bit harder to transport than watercolor. It's very crumbly. And I don't usually take it out anywhere and I'd like to take it out some more instead of only using it at home in the studio. First thing I ever did was to buy a gouache set by Holborn. And I love this set because it uses the CMYK model. And that is to me a lot more real and intuitive than the cools versus warms theory. So I got these and I mixed my own colors. These are not all the gouache colors I have. I don't have all these colors. I just have the magenta, cyan, the yellow, and the white and the black. And then I've mixed this and this and this and this and this from these here. Then to deal with the crumbles, I decided to check out M. Graham's gouache because they have honey in them and theoretically will not crumble as much. And I've done two, mm, I've done two different things. I've gotten a portable palette and I put these in here about two weeks ago. We'll see if it stayed moist. Looks good to me. We'll play more with that later. And I also put them on a plate to see how they rewet. I'll be comparing the Holbein with the M gram. I'm gonna use it fresh from the tubes and dried.
So a little update on how the process is going. The first one has left little flakes all over the white, the white at least has left little flakes all over the page, even places I didn't put the white. And then with the fresh Holbein gouache, um, things went a lot better but not as, it doesn't look that much better than I thought it would. I have very little experience painting clouds. And so the, each painting looks kind of really different because I don't know what I'm doing and I'm just making it up. It'd be nice if it was something I was a little bit more experienced with because then I would do it the same way each time. But each time I'm doing it, I'm experimenting with it. Also, I'm still experimenting with the consistencies of gouache. So when I'm using the dry stuff, it's a lot harder to get thicker consistency and when I'm using the wet stuff it's um, I have to remember to thin it down enough at the beginning stages. So here's the white flakes now that it's dried it's coming off and then I hope this is dry let's even though it's should have not had any flakes there's a flake here it could have been from here so maybe I'll brush this off before I finish so that it doesn't get into the other ones that I'm gonna do. But I see a little bit there. So it may have just been that this was what dried qu most quickly and then before I was able to completely use it. Wow. So it's making, hmm, interesting. Well, that's an interesting effect. Good to know that it does that. I'm sure I could use it in another painting for another reason. Excuse me. Excuse me. So I changed the water and I've rinsed the brushes in the sink so that, sorry, what now? So that I have a completely clean slate because there will be different binders or at least different amounts of binders in the different paints. While I wait for the paint to reactivate, I just wanna say like, I've actually not used the M-Gram paints yet. This is my first time. I'm really excited to try a different brand. It'll be really different because of the honey. So we'll see. It seems like it's really re-wetting like a lot or it's like really spreading out really quickly. I feel like that didn't happen on the on the whole bind and these these have been dry for a really long time. Just had a lunch break and one of the things that's Kind of different is that I don't have black. When I use watercolor, I never use black. So it's not really something I'm used to using anyways. And I'm perfectly happy to mix it. And because I took a lunch break, uh, some of the paints dried. So I'm going to re-wet it again.
so I just want to say like I'm not at my last layer but I love what happened here with the clouds So, I'm chewing gum and <laughs> I really don't want to spit it out, but I feel like I'm the loudest gum chewer ever. So I'm going to try not to do it while I'm talking to you. Um, update. I don't know if it was the angle at which I had the, the painting. Like I put it on the other side of the table because I'm painting on the other side of the paper and it was shinier it was like super shiny and so i moved my 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 light all over the place so you might see changes in lighting and it was still a problem so i don't know if that's the honey in there being shinier only time will tell um i feel like the paint is much more granulating and that's probably more to do with which paints I have, um, which chemicals are making up the colors more than the brand because I don't have matching colors. But it's also a lot less chalky. And I think that that, you know, depending on what you were going for, would be good or bad. Might be how much white I'm using. I feel like the white's a lot chalkier than some of the other colors. I don't know if it's showing up in the camera. I don't feel like it doesn't look really very chalky. I feel like the camera is making things um, more contrasted and that's making it so that you can't see the chalkiness. I'm not gonna use this one because honestly, this mixing area is too small. I could break out another mixing area, but I really want to test this palette out for when I go out. So we're just gonna we're just gonna do our best here.
so thoughts um, before I step away from this project. I think the easiest to work with was the Holbein. But I think that I'm gonna like the look of the M-gram when it's done more, which might not be worth it if you're just looking for a good experience. But I just feel like the Holbein is really chalky and the M-gram is much, much much less of chalky. <laughs> Okay, so this one is how my, this is like how my landscapes usually turn out, very abstract, and then uh, slightly less abstract. I'm getting less loose here. Um, slightly looser again, and then I feel like, oh, let's move that over. I feel like here I'm really focusing on the clouds, but I love the painterly strokes that I've got in there. I don't think my composition's very good on this one, but I love the clouds the most. So I feel like the black here, you would think that this would make this not, this would make this recede the most and that adding blue or red to this, yeah, this didn't mix at all. So I was a little confused. The lighting, my lamp, I just to the position of it, I just couldn't tell that this wasn't blending at all. So I might come back and paint this over again later. Or I might just say that with my experiment, that's what we have. And do you see this? That's this line. This is scratched. That's why I don't like the chalkiness of it. So I don't know if this is going to get scratched. Maybe I'll leave it here and let the cat walk around and we'll see what happens. Anyways, so my favorite is this one the whole line dry just because I like how it turned out the most but nah, I don't know <laughs> the more I look at them the more I'm like I don't like any of them but as far as like actually experience and the paint um, it was really fun to paint this part because it was just kind of like smooth and thick and yeah I mean I enjoyed working with the wet the wet paint the most the whole line dry was the most frustrating. The M gram dry was fine, um, all things considered. <laughs>